What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Crown 4 Kingdoms, a brand new mobile MMO brought to you by X Legend. X Legend being the same exact developers that brought you Eden Eternal, Aura Kingdom, Twin Saga, and earlier this year they brought you Aura Kingdom on mobile. They are back once again with another anime MMO in Crown 4 Kingdoms. Now, as you guys can see through and through, this is an X Legends title. It looks exactly identical to all the other X Legends titles that have come before it if you took away the uh, the ui of this game there's no way you'd be able to tell the difference and i i am convinced all right i'm convinced at this point x legends basically has an rpg maker for anime mmos because what they do if you're not familiar with this what, what this company does they basically will make an anime mmo after about five or six months, after like the buzz and the hype of that game has worn off, they will announce another anime MMO that looks nearly identical to the one before, but they'll have like one little feature that makes the game different than the other one, and then they'll re-release it again. Like, this is like the original asset flipping company. I know it's their own assets for the most part, I get that, but they have been doing this for the longest time, and I think, I think at this point, and maybe this is a few years like uh, overdue, but I think it's time to cut off X Legends, all right? I think it's time. They've had plenty of opportunities to innovate their titles to do something different, but they don't. They are completely comfortable with taking that same old anime MMO engine and just re like, you know, polishing it up a little bit and then re-releasing it over and over again. And uh, they get away with it because, hey, let's be honest, the games look kind of good. Look, I'm stuck on this fence. <laughs> <laughs> the games kind of look a little good, you know, they, they have an anime aesthetic, so they'll get a little bit of buzz, websites will cover them, but at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this company is not, it's no different than uh, another company out there taking a game and then just reskinning it and retitling it and then putting it back out again. Just because they're ex-legends, they get away with it, but I think it's no more, right? We got to put our foots down with this company because they have just abused trust for way too long. So here is like the finishing system from Twin Saga. They just literally took the finishers from Twin Saga and put it in this game. Like, how is this company any different from all of the other Chinese companies that we like, uh, we, we, we attack day in and day out for just basically taking the same autoplay VIP cash grab games and re-releasing it? How are they any different than those companies? No more X Legends, no more. You can't just put cute corgis in the game and expect to detract me. I know what's going on in this game. <laughs> what is this? Come on. Oh my good. So so what does this game do innovative? You FG you did say that they always put something slightly different in their games before they re-release them. Well, in this game, as opposed to having a two faction system, they have a four faction system. That that's it. That, that, that's pretty much it. So that's where the, the Crown Four Kingdoms comes into play. So it's not just Alliance and Horde. They have like Alliance, Horde, and like two others. So that's that. Um, you join a faction and you kind of fight for that team and you build up resources for your side. But at the end of the day, you really, none of that stuff really matters because these games, and I like to call these games Red Dot Simulators because 90% of your gameplay is trying to click off all the red dots in your screen to try to collect all the things that the game wants you to collect. You're going in your screen like, all right, what red dot do I need to click on now? I need to put talents here. All right, let me put some talents here. You're, you're not really worried about anything. You're not paying attention to the story. You're just trying to make sure that you have all the red dots clicked off of your screen as fast as possible. And that's really what the game is. This is through and through. Of course, the game has wings. There you go, because all these games have wings. The game does have a class change system, but I gotta say, this is the worst class change system that I've ever seen in any of these games I've ever played. Because typically when you change a class, when you get to the advanced class stage, it's supposed to be something a little bit more exciting. So I started the game. See, right now I have a bow. You might be thinking, okay, so you changed to an archer? No, 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 I was a gunner when I started the game. My advanced class was an archer? How, how was that an advanced class? What, what's advanced about me going from a gunner to an archer? You know what they did. You know what they did. And I have no real proof of this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. They had like archer animations left over from another game. They're like, oh, here you go. Here's an advanced class. Archer. Boom. Throw it in the game. Let's see what this is all about. There's a dragon here. Let's see what's going on. This game, man. I swear. Of course, there's instances that you can jump into instantly. I want to see what the dragon looks like. Hey, that right there, that was a special attack animation. You thought it was a cutscene? No. For whatever reason, sometimes your, your special attacks have really bad camera angles. So the, the, the ability that you're waiting for, the ability that you want to unleash on your foes, sometimes just looks dumb. You'll, you'll see it again. Wait for it. Don't worry. 
Let's see if we'll do it on these little, little demon archers here. Why, why did this zone have to have so many portals already? Like, like that, that right there. That was a special attack. <laughs> that was a special attack. How was that a special attack? It looked just like an awkward cutscene camera angle. But no, that was actually a special attack. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> talk about the game, FG. All right, I'll try. I will try. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm shooting things on autoplay, as you would expect. Um, you do have, like, this little teammate here. So I have Freya. Um, she's basically... <laughs> oh my god she's your partner in this game you can collect all kinds of different partners to take with you why is there so many portals in this one dungeon are, are, they couldn't just make it like a big seamless dungeon i don't i don't get it all right sorry 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 so you have partners that you can collect over time there's a whole list of them i'll show you right now what they look like so if you go over here to hero here are all the different um <laughs> The game just takes me out. One one thing, one redeeming factor about some of these like autoplay games is that the game can kind of play itself while you're in the menus, but not here in this game. It'll all the time switch you in and out of these menus. It's just so annoying. But here are all the <laughs> here are all the characters that you can collect in the game. Of course, they're rated on your typical gotcha rarities. Um, if you want to, you're feeling a little frisky, you can go over here and rub her up a little bit, make her like you. I mean, they just really took every feature from all their other games and threw them and threw them in this game i guess we're gonna fight this wicked witch of the west uh wicked witch of the west here she's dead how long does this dungeon go on here's the dragon finally 10th floor of the dragon abyss as you guys can see i'm still 100 percent hp out of the dungeon i go there's more why time remaining seven minutes oh my god <laughs> well i guess i'll go through the minions here no i'm not because the game wants to show you these awkward Zangief um, Pal Drivers and Suplexes. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're gonna leave this dungeon because it doesn't look like anything happens and it's gonna keep like taking me out of the uh, the screen. So I really can't show you the rest of the game. Um, so everyone stop for a second. Turn off autoplay so it'll, I'll stop getting distracted here. Um, so I already kind of showed you the talent tree here. So as you guys can see, pretty, pretty par for the course when it comes to these games. You use gold to level up your skills. For whatever reason, there's no upgrade max. How, how? They've made so many of these games. They can't just make an upgrade max button right there. Whatever. So so that's that. Um, life skills. Check this out. <laughs> check this out, ladies and gentlemen. There's a feature called Wanted, all right? So you're like, oh, cool. Maybe I get to, like, hunt down some, like, rare mobs or something like that, get rewards. Oh, oh, no. So the developers at X Legend said, how can we make the most boring freaking feature of all time? Here it is. You... you you're searching for them right now. Right now, just imagine you hunting down these NPCs. They made a feature where you literally sit here and watch this timer tick down. What? <laughs> why? Why even put this in the game? Why even put this in the game? You know what? I know why, because this is, they just throw every feature in the game that they can. Every single feature, just throw it in, throw it in. They, they consider that content, I guess, but here it is. Oh man, this is exciting. What's gonna happen? Did I, did I hunt them down? Yay, I killed, the, the, I killed them. I got a bag. Great. That is the wanted system. Are you serious? <laughs> why even put that in the game? It makes absolutely no sense. Of course, this game has your tried and true um, fortify and upgrade system. Um, so you're going to use like little scrolls to upgrade your gear. Um, old gear you can recycle. You know, nothing that you haven't seen before. That's the way you kind of upgrade your gear. Of course, there's a costume system as well. Pretty par for the course there. Like I said earlier, you do have wings. So where are my wings here? I got my little devil wings, just like all the other autoplay MMO. Ah, you won't even let me see other wings. Come on, X Legend. Let me at least see what they look like. You can die them though. Look at that. You gotta unlock those dies though. Sorry, dies aren't free around here, buddy boy. Um, so there you go. What else is going on? Arena. We'll do some PvP. I do like the fact, like the number one guy sits there on his his little throne, all cocky. That's that's kind of cool. So jump in here. We'll duel somebody randomly. I got you destroyed, buddy. FGT he is gonna show you what PvP is all about. Sorry, buddy. Auto played, of course. GG. This guy didn't play as long as I did. He's only level 19. I got to level 36 in this game, uh, which is pretty... It's several hours into the game. Like I said, pretty much most of the features are unlocked. Um, I got the class change unlocked. All kinds of features. So, um, Oh, here it is right here. I'm only missing two features in this video. You're welcome. I did this for you guys, all right? I did it for you. <laughs> what else is going on here? Boost. This kind of shows you what you need to do to upgrade your character. Nothing too special there. Of course, all these games have guilds. 
join one, I guess. <laughs> um, ranking, not a big deal. Title, this is the best part about the game so far. Hold on. This is the part that I like the most is my title. This right there with the, the little devil horns on Pioneer, that is a title and a half. I appreciate that, X Legends. Kudos to you on that one. Um, so that's that. Friends list, check in. Um, Master, I actually don't know what this is. I'm not going to look at it, though. I, I'm not interested. Um, so that is pretty much that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is, oh, I can't join the instance. So this is like a, a group instance that you can join, but it doesn't look like they're open at the moment, unfortunately. That sucks. I wanted to kind of see what that was all about. Um, but that's something to look forward to. If you want to kind of group up with other people to kind of see what's going on there, you can. There's story, there's trial, there's special, there's abyss, there's relic, there's raid, there's events, all kinds. Oh, look at this girl right here. Let's go fight here. This is where we're going to go ahead. Can I join an existing party? Look at that. Let me in. Oh, I got enough. I got to apply? Auto join party. Let me, let me just, let me in here. Come on, guys. No one else is playing the game. Come on. <laughs> let, let me in. Ugh, come on. Ah oh, man, you know what, I'm gonna solo it. Is there anything I can join? Nothing? Fine, fine. Join request declined? How many other level 36s do you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm low-key offended. I'm low-key offended. Anyway guys, once again, my name is FG3000. Playing the games that you don't wanna play. Crown Four Kingdoms, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by X Legends. Um, stay tuned, you know, in about seven months or so, you're going to see another title from X Legends that's going to look exactly like this. Oh, hey, 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 how do I get in? Hey, guys. Hey, friends. Uh, hold on. Wait, friends. I'm coming in there. Aren't I in the party? How do I, how do I join them? How do I, oh, God. Ah, oh, man, I'm letting my group down. How do I teleport to them? <laughs> Well, I failed. Dang it. I failed. I can't find you guys. I'm sorry, friends. Anyway, that's going to do it. Once again, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.